when Gucci said it before. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to go bro like Ja did. Yeah. He said that years back. And of course I was like, what? But guess what? Gucci as a man came to my morning show mm-hmm. and apologized to me. Wow. Live on L on my show. I can't do nothing but respect that. Whether he meant it, whether he was genuine and sincere or not, he took it a step to do something that a lot of cats don't have the moxie to do. So for a, a kid like a 42, mm-hmm. I understand. The, the craziest part, though, when I mentioned the, 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 the guy these order, little babies or the P from QC, whoever mm-hmm. was in, in position, who could have made him say, yeah, say somebody else, or uh, switch that mm-hmm. part. It ain't their job to do that, but when you think of like me and a baby being in the same city, you would think, and they were like, nah, 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 don't, this one, this one our own, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Because mm-hmm. I don't think any of them would have been able to go to the, uh, uh, Detroit. What 42 from Detroit, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think he would have been able to go there and say before I go bro like Trick Trick or be a bitch like <laughs> Trick Trick. I don't think he would have let that fly on one of their records. Facts. But that may be also, too, a different kind of respect, knowing how I'm going to be on some street shit, mm-hmm. or just people being loyal to where they from. I don't know. I don't care. I don't I don't care. I already said That's why I made the statement earlier. That's why I don't hang with entertainers like that, because a lot of times, it ain't no loyalty. Nigga gonna float to who they think the hottest. Nigga gonna float to what they think gonna make their brand look the best. Mm-hmm. And a nigga will see you in public, and if he think, if his thoughts that you not hot, he down there don't wanna speak to you. He down there don't wow. wanna interact, cause he don't wanna seem like he's with uh, the team that's not popping at that moment. So, again, it's so many levels of mm-hmm. understanding. Yeah, exactly. That has to, to be there to be able to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to take this and make the best out of it. Damn right. So I've been doing the bro like job part. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's been working. It's been working. <laughs> So we got the t-shirts and shit. Come bro, on. Job, Let's know. go. Bro, like job.com. Hey, man. Uh, you know, you know, it's funny. And it's just a testament to, to your business savvy or whatever. Like I say, you know, with, with all the businesses and things. Uh, I recently saw somewhere that uh, you you, uh, you you purchased some publishing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I heard you purchased some publishing and... Uh, and uh, so tell me how does Young Jock purchase 42 Doug's publishing uh, when 42 Doug's biggest song is uh, what could be considered maybe a, a, a stab at Jock? That is, uh, that's well, crafty at, well, at the very well, least. Well, let me just say this. Yeah. The, the, the thought of it is, is like something that Michael Jackson did by buying the Beatles publishing, but mm-hmm. in all actuality, I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. I, just, I was having fun. With okay, it. okay. We, we, were all, we were all like, um, what? what? <laughs> but, but what I did was <laughs> I bought into his campaign that's definitely against mine, but I bought into his campaign by saying, okay, if, that's the, if this is what the kids think is the hottest, then let's, 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 let's let it be. What I'm, what, I mean, what I'm gonna do other than get on a song and diss back? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not really in love with the music. Like exactly. That anymore. Yeah. It's just it's 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 a beautiful world. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. I mean, when you getting that money, it is it's a beautiful thing. Don't, yeah. Do not get me wrong. But right now, you know, I just I'm, I'm able to be at home. I'm happy. I ain't. I don't gotta. I don't gotta get on the road to go get my money. You know, so I have to be away from my family and out my bed and sleep in hotel to hotel. Yeah. Flight to flight, bus to bus, room to car to room to car to get my money. You mm. know what I'm saying? And I'm not knocking it at all. It's a beautiful living, trust me. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you this. But um, I just, I, you know how you just wake up one day and you have those certain understandings of who you are and what you want Exactly. Out the time you're here, and I start realizing, like, like, man, I don't want to be on the road like this all the time. Because it started making me feel like I got to really go get the money. Mm-hmm. I got to go and get the money. I got to leave everything that I may love at the moment behind to go and get the money. And I think that was one of the things that pushed me harder. That's why I started promoting parties uh, for um, on different clubs. That's how I became a club owner. Mm-hmm. You know, right now on, a, on, a, on a, one of the hottest clubs in the city Facts. right now, South Facts. Beach. Um, on one of the nicest salons in the city, Salon Echelon. Come on, come on. Come on. I got a number one morning show. Come on. Now syndicated. Come on. I'm one of the uh, longest running number one 
all cable shows. Come on. Number one storyline <laughs> on the London Hip Hop. Come on. And I still got a catalog that yields me a lot of publishing and mechanical royalty. So I, I like being able to be at home and still eat like I'm on tour. That's, that's, that's a bar. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a bar. <laughs> I like real. being at home and still eating like I'm on tour. 